I'm Eric Bain, Curator of Aviation here at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum, and this month we'll be looking at one of the main adversaries that Intrepid pilots had to face during the Vietnam War, the MiG-21. MiG is an acronym for the company that designed the jet, Mikoyan Gurevich. The single-seat MiG-21 entered service in 1959 as the Soviet Union's first Mach 2-capable fighter. A Tomansky turbojet engine, developing over 15,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, gives the MiG-21 the supersonic speed just above Mach 1 at sea level and over Mach 2 at higher altitudes. In April 1966, during the Vietnam War, the Soviet Union supplied the modern MiG-21 to the North Vietnamese Air Force, just in time for what would be the first of three tours that Intrepid would make to the combat area. U.S. forces felt the impact immediately as losses to the new jet increased. The MiG-21 lacked long-range radar, but proved to be a dangerous adversary when flown by experienced pilots. The MiG-21's intercept of strike groups were effective in downing U.S. aircraft, or at the very least, forcing them to jettison their bomb loads just before reaching their target. The MiG-21 threat exposed shortcomings in the training of U.S. pilots. As a direct response, the U.S. Navy created the Navy Fighter Weapons School, known as Top Gun, in March 1969. The objective of the school was to teach aerial dogfighting techniques and tactics and return the advantage to the U.S. pilots. This MiG-21 fighter flew with the Polish Air Force's 10th Fighter Intercept Regiment, which was charged with the defense of Warsaw. This aircraft is similar to those used by the North Vietnamese and is temporarily painted to represent a MiG-21 of the 921st Fighter Regiment of the North Vietnamese Air Force. The MiG-21 still holds the record for the most produced supersonic fighter in the world. Approximately 13,000 have been built, mostly by the Soviet Union, but by other countries under license as well. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.